No, Quinn, stand over here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, stop the video. I need to get some socks. My feet are really cold. <sighs> we got that! She should have had this ready beforehand. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! I'll be right back! She's pretty. Why do you have a magnet, Gus? Because I'm trying to attract her to me. <laughs> Gus, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's not how magnets work. No, this isn't going to work. Will you at least tell her I said hi? Can I have my sock back? Have you ever played with magnets? They're pretty cool, right? Actually, a long time ago, people thought magnets were magic because things would move without even being touched. So what exactly is a magnet? A magnet is a rock or piece of metal that can pull certain types of metal towards itself. The force of magnets is called magnetism. It is a basic force of nature like electricity and gravity. And magnetism can either connect or move an object away that are made of substances made with certain materials, such as iron, nickel, cobalt, and steel. The force of magnetism is due to the motion of electric charges. A magnet can't pull things like paper, glass, or a cloth. That's right, Quinn. Magnets can only move things that are made of iron or that have iron in it. Magnets are normally composed of metal, iron, or other materials with a lot of iron in it, like steel. And there are different types of magnets, like air core magnets, electromagnets, and permanent magnets. There are also magnetic rocks called lodestones. They are found on the Earth's surface, and people used to make them magnetic by rubbing iron on the rock's surface. And by doing this, this made the electrons inside them pull in the same direction. But the magnets you normally see every day are mostly man-made by using electricity. So what is iron? 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 What is iron? <laughs> Well, Quinn, iron is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Iron atoms are made up of 26 electrons. But why are magnets important? Well, magnets are kind of fun to play with, but they are very important and used in a lot of different ways. Magnets are in most electronic devices. Actually, anything that has a motor has a magnet. Televisions, computers, iPads, tablets, phones, microwave ovens, they all use magnets to work. They are even used to keep refrigerator stores closed. And magnets are used in medical devices to create a magnetic picture, and they're also used in trains as well as to slow down roller coasters. So how exactly does magnetism work? Well, a magnet is an object that is made of materials that creates a magnetic field. And the magnetic field is actually invisible to the human eye. The two ends of the magnet may look the same, but they do not work the same way. And believe it or not, magnets have a north pole and a south pole. If you get two north pole magnet ends and try putting them together, they will push away from each other. And it's the same thing if you put two south pole ends together. But if you take the end of a north pole magnet and put it near a south pole magnet end, they will pull towards each other. Hey, guess what? 
Earth is like a huge magnet with a liquid metal core deep inside it. And this core spins, which creates a magnetic field with the North and South Pole. Before GPS satellites were made, a simple tool called a compass was used. And a compass comes with a magnet that balances, and this is called the compass's needle. One end is marked with an N for north, or at least labeled to show that it's pointing north. Because of the Earth's magnetic field, this magnetic needle was drawn to the magnetic North Pole. Electricity and magnetism have a strong connection with each other, and this is called electromagnetism. The term comes from knowing that a magnet can create an electric current, and an electric current produces magnetism. And without it, we wouldn't have electricity or even electric motors. Since most magnets you see are man-made, they lose their magnetism over time. And this is because they weren't originally magnetic before someone made them. And dropping them, or heating them, or even hammering on them will also make magnets weaker. Scientists actually believe that birds can find their way home by using the Earth's magnetic field to lead them back from long distant flights. Superconductors are the strongest magnets and are made from coils of wire. They are used for creating electricity. Hey, guess what? Did you know that veterinarians will sometimes use magnets to recover wire or metal from the stomach of an animal if it swallowed something like that? Some farmers even give their cows a magnet to swallow. Ooh. That's very true, Gus. In fact, this small magnet attracts nails and wire a cow accidentally eats. And without these magnets, the metal could move through the cow's stomach, damaging the cow's other organs. This is a cool fact. Some cereals have enough iron in it that pieces will stick to a magnet. And like we said before, a magnet always has a north and south pole. But even if you cut a magnet in half, it will actually make two magnets, and those two new pieces will also have a north and south pole too. The Earth's magnetic poles are always moving, and they move several miles every year. And believe it or not, Earth is not the only planet with a magnetic field. In fact, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus also have magnetic fields. And here's one last fact. Did you know that cranes use enormous electromagnets to pick up scrap metal in junkyards? Well, hey, guess what? Now you and I understand how magnets work and why Sock Lady wasn't attracted to me. Don't laugh. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.